before there was Newt Hopkins, before there was Sammy Watkins, before Deshaun Watson, Trevor Lawrence, and the great Clemson teams of the 2000s and early 2020s, there was C.J. Spiller, one of the great Clemson running backs of all time, now on staff for the Clemson Tigers. And we're going to highlight C.J. Spiller and what he means to Clemson football on this mini episode of Around the Ball. What's up, everybody? I'm Garrett Mitchell along with Clifton Kennedy, and we're going to do a player coach spotlight video, little mini episode of Around the Paul. There's no game this week for the Clemson Tigers. It is a bye week, so we're going to have a little bit of fun with this one. Cliff, you and I are old enough. Um, you're a little bit older than me. You're in your early 40s. I'll be 40 in February. So, you know, we can remember Clemson football easily back, um, you, you know, even going back to the mid-90s. But one player, when we look back on our formative years of Clemson fandom, where you can just say, wow, we got to see that guy play. That is C.J. Spiller, one of the great Clemson players of all time and certainly – of the last 25 years. Oh yeah. He, he is definitely um, one of my favorite players in uh, Clemson history. Um, I can remember going to games back in, you know, the early two thousands um, with my parents and um, just having a good old time watching CJ Spiller and, you know, seeing some of his highlights and um, man, it was so much fun. I had a blast. Uh, you're absolutely right. And C.J. Spiller, of course, one of the original great Florida recruits to find their way to Clemson. And there's been a lot of players uh, over the last 15 years or so that have come from the state of Florida that Dabo Sweeney and company have been able to lure out of the Sunshine State and make a huge impact on the program. Well, C.J. Spiller was really one of the first. And at the time he came to Clemson under head coach Tommy Bowden, well, the Tigers were not a hot commodity on the national scene like they are now. And his commitment to Clemson really kind of came as a surprise to a lot of people. But he took a chance mm -hmm. on the Clemson program and was really one of those original guys who helped put it on the map as a forerunner to the players that came after him, like your Newt Hopkins and Sammy Watkins, then Deshaun Watson, Trevor Lawrence, Travis Etienne, and the championship-winning core of players. It was C.J. Spiller who really kind of helped create the excitement that, in my opinion, would help lead the players that came after him to Clemson. Yeah, it really was. And um, seeing him, you know, get inducted into the um, Ring of Honor, um, they showed a video um, on the the highlight board, and it's actually on YouTube now. And Dabo says, why did we choose CJ? Because CJ chose us. And, um, and he was actually asked, Earlier in the week in a press conference, I don't know if you saw this, um, do you think Clemson could pull C.J. Spiller in the current NIL era? And Dabo said, I don't know. <laughs> and uh, and that's how good C.J. was. And um, he was just one of those running backs that uh, once in a lifetime, a generational running back, and a bunch of people were surprised when he chose Clemson. And I don't think uh, Dabo was surprised, but I think, you know, I think a lot of fans and a lot of other people were surprised. Um, how about you? Were you surprised you knew CJ's coming to Clemson? Um, you know, maybe a little bit, but certainly glad that he did. And, and i tell you, you know, one of my first memories of going to Clemson football games, of course, I've been a Clemson football fan <clears throat> my whole life, but – the first game that I ever got to attend in person was the season opener against Middle Tennessee State in 2009. And the first time, the first time I ever saw CJ Spiller in person with the ball in his hands was the season opening kickoff that he took 96 yards to the house. I remember and, that. Yeah, right. He seemed to do that a lot. He was just an electric player. And uh, we've got uh, a couple of video highlights that you see up on the screen right now. C.J. Spiller, just 
dynamic with the ball in his hand. When you look at his career stats, Cliff, he rushed for 3, this is my favorite. This right here, this right here is my favorite CJ highlight. Oh yeah, the, the Sorry, Georgia Tech, the all purple. Yeah, I mean he just juke two or three guys out of out of his shoes and took it to the house. Sorry. Yeah, right, and one of the iconic moments of CJ Spiller's career. But to get back to his career numbers, in four seasons he played four years at Clemson. And he played 52 total games for the Tigers. He rushed for 3,547 yards. He had 1,420 yards receiving, 32 rushing touchdowns, 11 receiving touchdowns. That's 43 offensive touchdowns for his career. And I don't even have his special teams touchdowns right here. Um, well, here we go right here. He had uh, seven kick return TD, uh, touchdowns, one punt return touchdown, so you're talking about a guy who scored in the return game, rushing, receiving. And so let me do the math here in my head. Uh, 32 is 43, uh, 51 career touchdowns for C.J. Spiller, and he did it in every single way imaginable. You're talking one of the truly dynamic players, not just in Clemson history, but in the history of college football. And, and anybody that would like to argue that point, I really don't care because – if I have to argue to the wall, I will. C.J. Spiller yeah. was that good. If you watched him play, then you know. Yeah, and and the, the season that he went to the uh, the Osman, I think he got snubbed. I'm just going to say, like, I think he got snubbed. And, um, you know, I think he should have had the, the Osman. And uh, it, it just – it, it was crazy. I, I thought he is literally by far the best player Clemson's ever Clemson's ever recruited. That, right. In my opinion. And, and, and look, Cliff, if you saw the stat that's right there on this uh, set of video highlights, 21 of his 51 career touchdowns were on plays of 50 yards or more. That mm. is what you call a home run hitter. That is electric. That is dynamic. Players like CJ just – they don't come along – but once in a generation. Mm -mm. No, they sure don't. And, um, you know, it. it's just – it's it's awesome to see a player like that and and, um, and just be able to be like, I was there when this happened, when CJ ran. And, and the crazy thing was that, that night that he juked those two players, those two Georgia Tech – um, that was the whole night that we beat them. I think it was thirty-one to nothing, and um, and uh, game day was there, so there was all that hype around um, around that game. And he just he just showed there was another there was another one, and I think it was actually in that little video clip. Thank you, ACCDN, for those video highlights. Um, and. Uh, I think it was in that clip where he he goes right directly down the middle of the field and just jukes like two people out of their shoes again. And um, but yeah, literally just crazy stats. And um, one of the one, like I've said, I'll say it again. One of the best players I've ever seen mm -hmm. play college football. Right, and when you look at the history and the lineage of Clemson running backs, really the only other player at the running back position and really on offense period that I could compare C.J. Spiller to in terms of them being similar players, similar size and build, speed, the moves, just the ultimate ability at the position would be Travis Etienne. And, yeah. and C.J. Spiller to me was the – I mean, he truly was the forerunner to what we saw in Travis Etienne. You talk about him being a generational mm -hmm. player. Well, Etienne was that next generation uh, of great yep. – and running back. C.J. Spiller was the one that came before him. And uh, mm -hmm. it just, uh, again, as you said, if you got to see him play in person and you saw what he could do, saw what he did with the ball in his hands, then you know you watched greatness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he he was one of the great, and he was, uh, he was an innovator of the sport, I think, in college. Like, he did things that running backs couldn't do. And at that time, and I know we're only talking about 2009, but, I mean, you didn't see those types of running backs at Clemson 
uh, during, you know, before that time. And, um, and then when he came along, it was just like, wow, you were in awe just sitting there watching him. And, um, man, it was, it was, it was fun to watch. Yeah, incredibly fun to watch. And now for CJ, you know, it really has come f uh, full circle, Cliff, uh, not only inducted into the Clemson Ring of Honor, but now everything that CJ learned as a player, everything that he meant to Clemson University and to the football program as a player, he's now taking that and passing it along to the current generation of Tigers as a uh, member of Clemson's coaching staff. Yep. And imagine how lucky the Clemson running backs are now. To be able to learn from somebody like C.J. Spiller, who's charismatic, he's knowledgeable, and he's got the pedigree to back up every single thing that he's teaching these young men. Yeah, he he really does, man. And and you hear how the running you hear how the running backs talk about him as a as a coach and just as his mindset and um, his character and all that. It's it really is. Um, they they really look up to him and really value him as a as a person and as a coach. And he got at, by this photo, man. CJ is not an emotional guy, and he got emotional during it's this. Matter uh, of fact, yeah, and he got very emotional during during this whole thing. And uh, it was it was pretty awesome to see. Um, these are just some of the photos that uh, our photographer got, um, and uh, that I mean, it's just it's just awesome, man. Now I think when he was at Clemson back in two thousand nine, I think this right here is the little girl that he had, and uh, um, because like I think she was, I think it was her that uh, that um, he was he had right before he came to Clemson or, or something like that. And so he had to, if I'm not mistaken, he had to leave her at home. And so that was another thing. Um, like just, just think you're a high school kid and you have a, you have a daughter and you, you you're going to college to, to better, you know, everything. And you come all the way from Florida, all the way to little Clemson, South Carolina. Um, and you have to leave your family and everything. I mean, it, it was just, it was just fun to watch him, but I couldn't imagine being in his shoes. <clears throat> right, and certainly, as we said, he took a huge leap of faith to, to become a Clemson Tiger. We were all the beneficiaries of that. You know, we were treated to being able to watch CJ play week in and week out for four years, and certainly a player that we'll never forget. Certainly making an impact on Clemson Tigers of the present, hopefully well into the future. Any running back who comes to Clemson who's recruited by C.J. Spiller, if they commit to Clemson, then their lives are going to be rewarded, not only as a player, but as a person for having been under his tutelage. C.J. Spiller, one of the great Clemson Tigers of all time, ring of honor inductee on Saturday. So congratulations to C.J. And um, frankly, Cliff, Really enjoyed doing this uh, player slash coach spotlight on CJ. Yeah, I I, I like doing um, things like this, talking about old players and um, and highlighting coaches and stuff like that. I think it's great and um, it's fun, especially when it's, you know you were a kid when when those types of players came around and you can just remember like I remember where I was when that play happened. Da 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 da. da you know, it's so much fun. I like doing stuff like this. Right, and I think we're going to try to do some more of these because I think it's important to go back and see the lineage of Clemson football, to see where it was, where it was going, and now where it's at, and to highlight some of the players or coaches, or in some times both as it is with C.J. Spiller, that have really helped put Clemson football on the map. Because as uh, one of my favorite quotes says, um, you know, if you don't remember the past, then uh, you're, uh, you're doomed to repeat it, but in this case, it's kind of the opposite. You hope you repeat some of the success that you had guys like C.J. Spiller put out there. But at the same time, it's great to go back and reminisce and take that trip down memory lane and take a look at some of those great times of Tigers of yesteryear. Yeah, definitely. I love it, man. So fun. I can't wait to do this again and pick out another coach or player. So.
Yeah, a lot of fun for sure. So that's going to do it for uh, Cliff and I on this little mini episode of Around the Palm. I uh, hope everybody can uh, have a safe and, and uh, enjoyable bye week, as much as you can enjoy a bye week, knowing there's no Clemson football on Saturdays or on Saturday. But, hey, guess what? We'll be right back at it before you know it. First Saturday in November, we'll be at home against Louisville. I can't wait to be there for that one. Uh, I was there in 2016 when it was Deshaun Watson and Lamar Jackson, 40-yard line, 20 rows up behind the Clemson bench. And I'll tell you what, it might be the loudest I've ever heard Death Valley in person. So just being there in two weeks, that's going to bring back a lot of great memories seeing that unbelievable Clemson-Louisville game. Yeah, it's going to be fun, man. It's it's going to be um, a matchup for the ages. If it if it's it's I think it's going to be um, one that uh, Clemson will definitely have to uh, um, be on their defensive A game and uh, and offense too. You know, right. And we'll have a preview episode for that game next week. So uh, just continue to stay tuned to around the Paul. Again, as always, you can subscribe to us here on YouTube. We would appreciate it. It helps us out. And you can see our fine sponsors who support us and help make what we do happen. Check us out on our website, too, clemsonsportsmedia.com. Great daily content by our all-star collection of staff writers. And uh, you can follow us at CU Sports Media on X, formerly Twitter. Lots of different ways you can connect to us. Always drop and leave those comments. We like to hear what you have to say. But uh, we love doing it. We love putting out all this great information about the Clemson Tigers, the team that we all love. Just a lot of fun doing it. Yeah, so much, so much fun, man. A lot of fun. Sorry, my For dog. Sure. Barking and and, in the and you hear Cliff's dog. Uh, <laughs> hey, all that is Cliff's dog's in the background saying "Go Tigers." Just saying yeah, what we're sure. going to say. Go Tigers. That's all she's saying. Go Tigers. <laughs> all right, that's going to do it for us on this little mini episode. So we appreciate everybody uh, dropping in to have a watch and have a listen. So until next time, this is Garrett and Cliff from around the pole saying, Go Tigers. Go Tigers. Go Tigers.